morning everyone let's go get our 10,000 steps officially at zero so let's go do this sometimes i just like to have plain grapefruit okay where are we at 9,300 new bread that I got is literally life-changing gluten-free sourdough it's changed my life I'm not kidding you it's so good look at that Getting my daily afternoon sun. This is one of my favorite parts of the day. It relaxes every fiber of my being. But I was thinking about as I've really seen my chart and I've been watching my cycles change month after month. And some we, some months it's you know slow and steady improvement and some months it's like, wow, this was such a big change. And this month was just such a big change that I just really wanted to share all the things that you always usually see me do but maybe kind of talk about it a little bit more in depth and kind of share the things that I've really seen that God has used in my health, whether it's protein, whether it's literally nourishment from the sun. I would say right after I miscarried, that was when I decided, okay, I want to continue my education and I want to further my education. And it wasn't really a time of, that sounds kind of silly. It was practice. It was practicing, but it was really immersing myself in learning. And I just kind of let go of everything. I let go of trying to do really anything except for learn. And then once I graduated, this year has been really a year of implementation. Journey is always like this, you know, ups and downs, <laughs> definitely uh, not just this. But I do want to share the things, despite it all, that really have been that slow and steady climb. And that's the thing is that it can be very discouraging to be, to be in the lows, but something that always helps me and something that is something that I always tell myself is to remember that even if there's the down days, I'm still on the up and up. We're still going up, further up and further in. Really prioritizing my 10,000 steps again though has been so incredibly amazing. It's really helped with my progesterone production is getting in the sun and first thing in the morning. Really that early morning sunlight is so important for progesterone production. Getting that steps has really changed my hormones because it changes the way that your body utilizes glucose because you're utilizing glucose better. And glucose dysregulation is really at the heart Part of a lot of women hormone problems and so the the best the the and free way to regulate your glucose is exercise is movement and I find that the simplest things are the things that are often the most overlooked the things that I overlooked for a very long time because I thought no surely it has to be more complicated surely it can't be that simple or well that's that's just too simple and it's almost disregarded just like protein oh you know protein no, getting in enough protein, moving, walking, being active, 
those are the foundation of the foundation. So morning sunlight walk, getting actually out in the sunshine. And obviously, you know, it's been cloudy for a few days. We have our gray May here at the coast, but the sun is peeking through. We have gray May, we have foggest. No, wait, we have Okay, wait, let me remember. Gray May, we have June gloom, no sky July, August, and then no sun September. Just kidding. So start a little coastal joke around here. Wanna go to Whole Foods with me? Okay. okay. This is one of my favorite dinners. Protein, a veggie. I really like asparagus because it's in season right now. And then really easy fingerling potatoes are so simple to throw in with your veggie. And then they roast at the same time. And I, I usually take the asparagus out a little bit early and then leave that in a little bit longer so it can get nice and crispy, but such an easy dinner. Unless it's too big. Jeez. Oh my gosh. I told you it was a huge garlic. Right, there it is. Two minutes in here and about five to six minutes in the oven and it turns out restaurant quality perfect every single time and all you need is salt and ghee and that's it. I don't put anything else on the fish and it is perfect and a great source of protein and healthy fats. I love eating seafood. That's, I would say very specifically, actually I'm adding this in here as one of the things I do because I really was like not regularly eating seafood, but I incorporated seafood about three to four times a week so whether it's you know salmon you know sardines or uh, oysters I really actually consume oysters a lot but making sure that you get in seafood three to four times a week that has been something that's so helpful with all of the zinc iodine and then the fatty acids so the omegas those three things are just really the powerhouses of seafood and incorporating it three to four times a week you really are making sure that you're getting in those nutrients so very important essential essential things and just making sure you know three three to four times a week seafood and that's another thing that i've been doing to really support my hormones and cycle and i've noticed a huge difference and that has been one of the things i've strategically and specifically done so three to four times a week seafood we have our salmon with our omegas and amazing protein amazing healthy fats asparagus so rich in b vitamins which we're going to talk more about later b vitamins are essential for every single day we have our little local potatoes and my obsession lately this is our little salad tonight if you will is apple our little salad it's my uh, apple and burrata with some honey so good so 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 good full of fiber so this is the key to this has a ton of fiber in here and our protein which really are the two key things obviously carbohydrate as well very essential but i see the biggest two things that people don't get enough of are protein and fiber and making and prioritizing that at every single meal has been completely life-changing so that is dinner tonight oh my gosh that is the way to cook salmon beloved bee pollen that I have to use but um, I was actually I figured we'd do a little deep dive chat on all the things I've been very strategic about what is that on this blueberry crazy looking blueberries right there it's the next day I got my 10,000 steps in my handy dandy pedometer I love this thing so much it honestly is so motivating that's the thing it's very motivating to actually see objective information about if I'm getting enough or not because then I'm like, oh, I can do it just a little bit more. I was reading this book. I just got it in the mail and I was reading it just a little bit. I was just flipping through it. I need some more yogurt. And I felt like it was the perfect thing to preface everything because you'll just see. You'll just see. So good. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Wow, that smells so good. We have our tea. This is so good. I don't, the best way I could describe this is like a soft tea. It's almost got like a, it reminds me of Roybo's for some reason. I just got this book in the mail today and I read this and I was like, this is everything that I'm trying to even explain when I'm explaining things. This is called Spiritual Disciplines Handbook, but it says knowledge is a powerful thing. That's why we like to be in the know, to have inside information, not be left out of the loop. The irony is that we can become skilled in information acquisition and become no wiser for it. So I'm gonna make a point with all of this. We can become skilled in information acquisition 
and become no wiser for it. Information doesn't necessarily transform or shape us. And I always say in the wellness method, I say in the beginning that information that doesn't lead to application will not lead to transformation. So we have to apply the information that we learn. It's not all just about the information. It's about application of information. This is really beautiful. It literally goes through the spiritual disciplines. But what I was going to say is I just loved that intro. And obviously I love this whole, I'm really excited to dive in this whole book, but this really just reminded me of even in my own life recently, where I, I, I have found a really deep love for chatting with you about nutrition and health it fires me up. I get so excited because, because for so long I struggled for so long and I'm finally seeing massive shifts in my health. The biggest shifts that I've ever seen really in my ovulation, my progesterone, like my thyroid, these are things that felt like mountains to me in my life that I looked at and I just thought, I don't know how, I don't know how, I don't know how. And what I really want to hyper focus on is that it can be hard to actually apply the information that you're learning because I love to chat about all these things, B pollen and B vitamins and protein and fiber and sunlight and all these different things that I just get so excited about because they are all little parts of the puzzle. This is a perfect example. I know this is so silly, but this is a perfect example of something so incredibly simple that you just cannot even begin to be like, okay, it's just a yogurt bowl. It is a yogurt bowl, but it's a very strategic yogurt bowl that is full of, this probably has maybe 20 grams, 20 to 25 grams of protein in it. And this has over 10 grams of fiber in it. And this also has the bee pollen in here, which is loaded with B vitamins and protein, absolutely essential for metabolism. So the thing is, is that it's not just a yogurt bowl. It's, it's a cornerstone yogurt bowl. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the four things every single day that even though this is like a multiple habit video, but I'm gonna talk specifically about four things right now with, with that being said about the information and everything like that, that when I applied these four things, it completely changed my life and it changed my health and my hormones. So number one is B vitamins. B vitamins, and here's the thing. I used to be exhausted all the time. I'd wake up and I'd wanna go back to bed because I was so tired. Also, thyroid problems. Also, low progesterone, spotting before periods, just low progesterone in general from being told by doctors. Um, and then extremely painful, heavy, clotty, bad periods every single month. All of those are rooted in, and that's the thing, I always used to think, I thought, oh, I'm low progesterone, oh, I need progesterone, oh, I'm low thyroid, I need thyroid, oh, I'm tired, I, I'll just drink some coffee, you know, oh, I'm, you know, I have painful periods, well, it's just my hormones, you know, I gotta, and I don't really even know what to do about that. All of those things have roots in a nutrient need, specifically B vitamins, and when I started one thing, the one thing, when I started having B vitamins every single day, that's why I sprinkle B pollen on everything. When I started having B vitamins every single day, that the B vitamins are the coal that makes the train roll. It is the gas in the car, if you will, for metabolism. If there is no B vitamins, there is no liver clearing hormones to get out that estrogen so that you can have a painless period. There is no energy for the day. We need, we need B vitamins to literally take our food Okay, this is the crazy thing. To take our food, this little B vitamin, the little B pollen that I sprinkle in here, that allows the food that we actually eat to be turned into energy because B vitamins are involved in carbohydrate metabolism, in protein metabolism. If we don't have those B vitamins, our body can't do its job. I expected my car to run without putting gas in it. I was not regularly eating B vitamins at all. And so I expected my car to just run and just go and be able to go fast. Absolutely not. I was not going anywhere. As as fun as this is, I'm like this is my this is me very seriously sprinkling my bee pollen on there because this is what contains and allows my body to literally I feel energized when I when I take this. So that's what I'm trying to say when it comes to what I was saying earlier about information and application as simple, and it maybe is like, oh yeah, the Cambria sprinkling her bee pollen on there again, you know? But it really is a very, it's a very serious, <laughs> that's so funny, I'm like laughing when I say, it's a very serious thing though that I do when I sprinkle my bee pollen on, when I'm talking about B vitamins, because 
The thing is, is that we can hear things, but when we do them, when we put it into action, when I put it into action, I started literally taking it every single day and doing my little bee pollen every single day. It changed my energy, which changed my metabolism, which changed my hormones, which changes everything. Because even the thyroid, the thyroid doesn't work without B6. So it's so important and it's so crucial that we have these B vitamins. So that is the number one thing, you know, we need, and if you've ever heard of B12 is like the energy, we need B vitamins. B vitamins give us energy. I'll just put it that way, very simple way. And if there's one thing that you can do every single day, not just sometimes, not occasionally, but every single day. There, if there's one thing that I did and I changed every single day, every single day, it's consume B vitamins. My specific favorite form is the B pollen. I love Beekeepers Naturals brand. That is my absolute favorite brand. But that is the one thing that I do every single day to support my energy, to support my thyroid, to support progesterone. This is nature's B vitamin. That's why I particularly like this. I'm really excited because I get super fired up on bee pollen, but then this is the biggest sale that they have ever done. It's their Memorial Day sale, and so you are going to get 25% off Oh my gosh, this is the time to stock up. Go to beekeepersnaturals.com slash Cambria and you're gonna get 25% off of your order. And this is the perfect thing to add into your day-to-day. -day. A sprinkle a day fuels metabolism in every way. That's what the saying is. A sprinkle a day fuels metabolism in every way. I just came up with the best little slogan ever. The code is Cambria, and you're gonna get 25% off of your bee pond, your propolis. I take propolis every single day. Okay, don't even get started on propolis because the studies that I read on endometriosis and propolis, nature, what God creates, nothing else touches. So whenever there's studies on these kind of things, whether it's bee pollen, whether it's, you know, propolis, the ancient Egyptians described it as a powder that gives life. It's my personal favorite way of getting B vitamins because it's from a food and you're getting so many other nutrients in there. It's literally, it's literally like nature's multivitamin. One of my favorite things in the whole world, being able to give you the discount code that's the biggest discount code that my code gets you the biggest discount I've ever seen on this. 25% off Cambria at checkout and you can stock up on your bee pond or propolis. I take this every single day for so many reasons, for immune reasons, but ultimately for health reasons. And I am telling you, I'm telling you something, it has been, I have not, I have stayed healthy for almost a year. Yeah, we're almost in June. So yeah, almost an entire year. Once I make it to June, I've stayed healthy for an entire year. I think they've sold millions of these. Okay, so that is number one. Number one is B vitamins. Number two is magnesium. I wanna show you the magnesium that I made. And that's the thing. These are things that I do every single day. This is the magnesium that I make. Wow, we're just really having a flower moment. I'll just link it in the description, but it's just like a powder that is magnesium and you do any sparkling water and you pour it in and shake it up. Oh, I already shook this one up. I'm ruining my magnesium. <laughs> it's fine, it'll settle. But as you can see, it settles at the bottom. You see that? And that is what you want. And the magnesium then gets into your water, the magnesium bicarbonate. It's just a very gentle, very bioavailable, usable to the body magnesium. And I'm telling you, when I began having magnesium, everything in my life also changed. Sleep changed. I definitely like, I'll spray, I, I, that's the thing, I just do it out of such a habit, I'll spray on my magnesium at night, but I always love to take some magnesium orally every day, and this is the one that I just really, really love, is this form of magnesium. So this is the one that I like to do, just like the bee pollen is the one, the one way that I like to get B vitamins. This is the one way that I personally like to get magnesium, just because it's very bioavailable. And if you'll see the theme of bioavailability, that is just what your body is able to, the best form that your body is able to absorb and use. And think of it like a glass of water if you're trying to dissolve something. And you know, you know when you put like sugar in water and it just like doesn't dissolve and you have to stir it forever and ever and ever and it never dissolves in the water? That is, that is basically an easy way to think about bioavailability, if you will where your body's able to use it. Your body's able to dissolve it, if you will, and use it. And you're able to taste that sweetness in your drink, the purpose of the sugar. You're able, that's the thing. 
the purpose of the magnesium. Your, you want that your body to be able to utilize that magnesium, which is why I like this particular form with the uh, adding it in the magnesium bicarbonate. So that's the reason that I like this and you can use any, it doesn't matter, you just need to use any sparkling water. I like sparkling mineral waters for those minerals. But then the same thing with the, you know, the B vitamins, the B pond, you're, I'm getting it from a food, I'm getting it from a bioavailable source. Number three is potassium. We're actually gonna, let's make some celery juice in celebration of number three, because I really need to use up the celery. But celery is incredibly rich in sodium and potassium, and that's why I always put my little electrolyte packet, love the grapefruit element, in my water every single day. That's the thing. The key is in doing it every single day. There was this man at the farm one time who was like, this healed my thyroid. And the thing is, is that the thyroid's job on a cellular level is to make more sodium potassium pumps. And 25% at least, maybe even more, up to 40% of our basal metabolic rate, guess what it comes from? Sodium and potassium. This is one of the ways that I love to do it, but potassium is so important for blood sugar, which is really important for ovulation. If there's blood sugar, and that's the thing, that's one of the biggest things that I focused on for my ovulation was blood sugar regulation. And one of the things that really helps that is potassium. And that is why I really take a heavy focus on minerals and I love minerals so much. Number four, let me tell you what number four is. This is very unique and kind of specific, but it's increasing your polyphenols. I literally saw the hugest changes in my cycle when I increased polyphenols in my diet. They actually are using it in egg quality supplements, which is insane, like green tea extract. But I'm like, I can just drink the matcha because I'm obsessed with matcha. And it's so funny because my body's been craving the matcha. So I have been doing, I already had two. I think I had two today. I have two minimum, sometimes three matchas a day. My body's craving it. And then I realized that the serving size on matcha is like two to three. Cells need two things. They need nutrients, which is what I've been talking about, like heavily, heavily, heavily B vitamins, magnesium, potassium, sodium. Those are all nutrients that the cell needs. And number two is protection, okay? So polyphenols are super fabulous from our plants, from the matcha leaves, from you know all different kinds of food, just really, really abundant specifically. I'm obviously just talking about matcha here. Otherwise I could list you know every single food that's high in polyphenols but specifically matcha is really really high in polyphenols and that again it comes down to what can I do every single day that is something that I do every single day now and I've seen such a huge increase in my ovulation which healthy ovulation equals more progesterone which is amazing having a matcha is not only delicious because the strawberry matcha I made so Kristen John shared this cute little recipe and I was like oh a strawberry matcha that sounds really good but that is the way that I have increased my polyphenols. And that is number four. And that is like literally one of the biggest things that I've done. Not to be dramatic, but it's life changing. <laughs> These are things that I do every single day, whether I'm studying blood chemistry, whether I'm editing, whether I'm writing, get in my steps, get in my potassium, get in my magnesium, you know, do just really sit. It's very simple, you know, just little so I know that was number four, but there's other habits in the video, like the 10,000 steps a day. But I'm gonna sit down actually right now and listen. I'm actually listen to a lecture from the doctor that I'm studying under that I got certified in blood chemistry. He's actually doing a lecture on PCOS, so I'm really excited. So I'm gonna listen to that right now and finish my celery juice. So, you know, some kind of, it's not just about function, but that's great. But what we've lost is that foundational approach to this. The, the, that is literally what I just said, the foundations. What a foundation actually is. And we go for the fancy supplements, the expensive tests, all these things, and we forget the basic. That is exactly what I've been trying to say, is that those, and that's why I said those four, well, polyphenols is like fancy and fun, but just fruits and vegetables, you know? But the basics, it's the basics. And the B vitamins, the magnesium, the potassium, those are just basic things that I see missing a lot, a lot, a lot. It's absolutely fundamental. My, my camera died. So you're getting the flourishing mug. Did you cut your bread, honey? Yeah, I missed that part. 
<laughs> You're also gonna get a signed copy of Milk and Honey. I feel like this is a good color scheme going on. I feel like we have a lot to catch up on. I, 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 we're gonna try to go to Mendocino. I don't know what's happening, but we're gonna try to go to Mendocino and I'm gonna finally try to take you with us. <sighs> because first year I was riding Milk and Honey there. And then last summer, got sick there, had to cut our whole thing early and literally was sick in bed laying in the hotel. It was not fun. So hopefully we can go back because I feel like it's like a little annual tradition and I really want to take you. But also like so many, so many fun life updates too. I know that I talked a lot in this video about like what I've been doing, but really it's been so amazing to see how my cycles have changed. It's been really, really amazing. And for a long time of just like, I don't understand. I don't understand things. And now I feel like I'm finally just I'm understanding that there's so many different pieces to the puzzle, but I hope that you found this video helpful. Those really are the things that I've done that have really made such a huge difference. I can even see in my progesterone, in my ovulation, month after month, in my thyroid, everything. It's been, it's just been undeniable. So I feel like it's really fun to share and hopefully it's really helpful, but Anyway, that is it. So that is the giveaway. All you have to do is literally leave a comment. Tell me one thing that you do every single day. Maybe it's your 10,000 step walk. Maybe it's your salt and your water, whatever it is. Let me know. And don't forget, literally this is, I've never seen Beekeepers Naturals do a sale this big. This is their biggest, hugest sale for Memorial Day, 25% off site-wide. You can stock up on the propolis and your bee pollen. Literally the best, our sprinkles, our golden sprinkles. Like my friend said when I ran into her, she was a viewer and she said that she got them for her daughter and they sp she sprinkles it on her yogurt and they call it the gold sprinkles. So I think, or the yellow sprinkles. Gold sprinkles is pretty cute too. Anyway, so link is in the description box for that. I love you so much. Don't forget to comment to enter to win. And I'm so excited they're giving you 25% off. I'm just freaking out over that. It's like the most amazing discount ever. And I'm obsessed with bee pollen and how incredibly amazing and nutrient dense it is. Okay, I love you. And I will see you in our next video. You have so much fun hanging out to do. And okay, I love you. Then. All right, I'm done. Bye. <laughs>